I'm sharing my top five concealers for mature skin. I have crepey under eyes, I have wrinkles, I have very dry skin, and I also have need for a very full coverage because I have extremely dark circles. I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of the top two that I've picked out. But before we do that, we are going to get into 10 concealers that I am decluttering for reasons that will become apparent very soon as I speak about them. And we're gonna get into that right now. Don't forget that everything that I have on, including this cute little jacket and the t-shirt that I have on along with the jewelry, the fingernails, all of the makeup that I'm wearing today that will be listed and linked below in the description box as usual. I also tried to link that in the first pinned comment for you. Hopefully I'll remember to do that for you. All right, let's get into decluttering 10 that did not work for me whatsoever in no particular order. All right, let's get the little readers on here so I can give you the full names of these. Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow 4-in-1 Perfecting Pen did not perfect. It didn't give me the coverage that I needed to and it really just felt very short of what I needed it to as far as being smooth underneath my eyes. I just could not get on board with this one. And then Bobbi Brown, uh, they released a new one as well. It's called Skin Full Cover Concealer. This one I was a little bit on the fence about at first, but as the day wore on, it just looked terrible. It got patchy and crinkly and settled into my fine lines. We're getting rid of that one but we're not getting rid of it behind my back. We're gonna go over there. <laughs> the next one that we're decluttering is the Huda Beauty. This one is the Faux Filter Concealer. This one was way too thick and way too drying, so I just couldn't get on board with that one at all. Maybe somebody with younger skin can, but I can't do that one. The next one is the New Makeup Forever HD Skin one. This one, it says anti-creases, and uh, I can't read the rest of it because it's too small print. But this one, again, no coverage for me, and the coverage seemed to break apart a little bit. So that one's going. The Camouflage Concealer, Liquid Camouflage Flage Concealer from Catrice. This one, they tried to mimic Tarte Shape Tape. And if you're a mature woman and you love Tarte Shape Tape, then you might like this one as a dupe. However, Tarte Shape Tape is so drying on me. It is terribly drying. I just look crinkled up and dry and I can't do it. And this one did the same exact thing. The next one is Zoeva. And Zoeva, I don't even know if they only sell on their website anymore. This is Authentic Skin Perfector Retouch Concealer. Again, I felt like this one just did not give me the coverage that I needed without looking too cakey. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for good coverage because I'm very dark circles, as you'll see in a demo. You'll see how bad they are, and then you'll get to see how good the concealer that I do recommend takes care of those. Another one that was all the rage and everybody went gaga for, but I couldn't do it. And the reason they loved this one from Too Faced, this is the Born This Way, multi-use sculpting concealer. The reason that they love this so much is because it was like Tarte Shape Tape, but at the same time, it was a lot more hydrating. And for me, again, it was not hydrating enough. I have really, really bad dryness underneath my eyes. And it doesn't matter how much I hydrate there before I go in with concealer. It has to be a hydrating concealer, but it can't be too hydrating. So yes, I'm very picky about it. That one's going as well. Whoa, that was loud. Okay, the next one is from NYX, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This one, again, too drying, very thin formula. You might like it if you don't have a lot of issues, but this one wouldn't work for me either. The next one is a cult classic, actually, that everybody wears, and it is the Laura Mercier. This one's the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. And a lot of people really, really love this one, and I can understand why, but for me, once again, I had to put too much on in order to get the coverage that I needed and just would not work that well for me. The last one I'm probably gonna get some pushback for, but from Lancome, the Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This one, again, too drying, too thick, just did not fit my needs, and I, I really wanted to love it because so many people loved it so, so much, but for me, it just fell very short and could not completely take care of those. But let me tell you, here are the top five concealers at the drugstore that are truly great, great concealers. All right, here we go from number five to number one, but please keep in mind that number five is every bit as good as number one. It just so happens that I reach for number one more than any of the other ones. All right, here we go. 
the Double Time Full Cover Concealer from Koki. This is a long wearing concealer and it is a full coverage concealer. I love their foundation that they brought out that is so much like this. I do have it in two shades because the first shade that I got was terribly white. And if you're a woman that has dark circles and you really have a hard time this area not looking either stark white or looking too gray, you need to match your foundation, your skin tone. You need to go as close as you can in order for it to blend well and you're not having this you know white circle around your eyes and then your foundation but this is a beautiful concealer full coverage like i said it does last very long and for me i tapped it out i put a thin layer on because it has high pigment in it put a thin layer on and by the end of the day i still feel like it looked really good the next one i really liked as well came out i think this one came out in 2023 this is the Makeup Revolution IRL Finish Soft Matte Concealer. What I like about it, there being a soft matte about it is that you don't get the drying because if it was ultra matte or you know ultra thick, you don't get that super dryness. But at the same time, if you have something that's too hydrating or too dewy, you're going to get creasing because in our age bracket, we get wrinkles. I have wrinkles. It doesn't matter what I do. Now, it's not necessarily the same thing as creasing. Wrinkles are there, but this one is beautiful for not creasing and just covering everything. So again, I'm looking for a more full coverage concealer. If you don't have terrible, terrible dark circles like I do, you might look for one that is a lot thinner, like Maybelline Age Rewind. I love the consistency of that, but it doesn't have enough pigment to cover mine. And I know that that's a cult classic and so many people love that, but for me, I have to have more coverage. And this one from Makeup Revolution did a great job. Now from ColourPop, their Pretty Fresh Concealer. This one is really beautiful. Now this is a medium coverage, not quite as full as the other ones I'm talking about, but I do like this one very much because of how hydrating it is, how easy it is to blend out. Love that it has a million colors that it comes in and no creasing on me. So this one was a keeper as well. That was number three. Now in at number two is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's, this is the hydrating formula. So e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Mine is in light peach and it just seems to be the perfect color for me. You're gonna see me put it on this eye and then the other, the number one put on this eye. What I loved about this one when it came out is that the Camo Concealer, the original, was meant to mimic Tarte Shape Tape, but they found that, you know, it wasn't for all women and everybody was having different needs. So the fact that I can get super beautiful coverage without creasing but not have it be too thick is just primo i love that about it so this is a great one for me i bought this two particularly i don't know three or four times i've gone through tubes of these big doe foot applicator like the tarte shape tape i love this one it is one that i would highly recommend that you pick up and the other thing is it's about seven dollars i think it's seven dollars it used to be six i think it's seven now it's just so good. Now my number one spot has to go to the Catrice True Skin 18 Hour Hydrating High Coverage Concealer. It says it's waterproof and it has hyaluronic acid. What I am so in love with about this for a concealer is that for me, it could stand up to any of the high-end ones that I love so much. And having it on this eye, you can see how well it has covered, how pretty it is, how it does not crease. I do, like I said, I have my expression lines, my wrinkles underneath there, but this one truly covers and yet is still hydrating without giving that creasing that you get so many times. It's been my number one drugstore drug pick since it came out, along with the foundation. The foundation is absolutely beautiful. This one has enough pigment to completely cover everything that I need to. I can also run this down. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation down in this area on my cheeks right here. So I do run this down and just pat everything out. And the coverage is fantastic but it's thin enough that it is a very good one for mature skin. So if you've been looking for any sort of concealer from the drugstore, but you've been wondering, these are my top picks. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. And let me know down in the comment section what your favorite concealer at the drugstore is. I'd love to hear that. And I will be doing some higher end ones that were all released last year. I love so many that were released last year, but at the same time, I know that not everybody can afford that. And drugstore, can be just as good 
every bit as good, if not better at times. So those are my five picks. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Come back around in my next video. Love you much. Bye-bye.